Can you tell me who you are and what your interest is? Uh, my name is Phil Martin and uh, I used to be a freelance ecologist and I still have um, a really strong interest in ecology and natural history uh, in the Cheshire and the Greater Manchester area. Okay, and what's your overall impression of, of the Swallows Wood in the surrounding sort of area? Um, well, it's a really interesting uh, mosaic of habitats, um, partly because of the old industrial uh, uh, heritage and, and the, the, uh, res the old reservoirs, the old Hollywood reservoirs. But it's got some really, really nice, um, uh, it's really nice diversity of uh, plant life in, in the reserve and uh, some of the surrounding landscape as well. Uh, but it's, a, it's, a, it's generally a beautiful area. Um, very rest, very restful, very peaceful actually. It's nice to come up here and then um, uh, do, do a walk around the around the area. We go up to uh, Hollingworth Hall and then if you, if you want to go beyond onto the moors, so um, it's a really nice place to. It's a really nice gateway into the peak, yeah. into the, into the, uh, onto the high hills. And how important do you think it is that we sort of try to preserve areas like this? Well, it's. Um, all areas, all all, all uh, areas like this on the edge of uh, um, on the edge of the, uh, the hills, uh, increasingly getting um, nibbled away at by different types of developments, whether it be housing or industrial, um, or, or as this in this case a potentially road development. Um, so we lose, I mean, this this will take a substantial part of, of the landscape away. Um, and, and, and I really, think that, you know, with the, with the surely now the tide's turned. I think against against uh, road expansion, um, just to, to, just to try and take overspill from um, from the existing road. Uh, well, oh, and, and you know, historically there was a, a perfectly good railway. Uh, as soon as that closed, that all the freight went onto the road. Um, so it's not going to solve anything. Uh, but I think in terms of in terms of the local, in terms of the the, the um, in terms of the encroachment onto the uh, onto the peak and the, the, the Pennines in general, uh, it's part and parcel of an ongoing um, slow erosion of the of the landscape really. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's it's just. Uh, on a more kind of strategic level, I suppose. I just think it's it's, it's another unnecessary um, chunk taken out of uh, really, uh, a really, um, uh, really diverse, really beautiful landscape. And one of the last things is, um, to ask you is, is it's one of the things that's been said about this this reserve is that it was created, and therefore, you know, if it if it does if it is taken away and destroyed. It can be replaced. I mean, what would what would your sort of overall what, view of that be? What I would say about that is that in all the t in nearly all the times, well, I would say all the times I've known where developers of one sort or another have said, "Don't worry, we'll put back something that was just as good." They never do. They they, they really pay lip service to that, and they they tend to um, uh, they they'll plant a few trees or do it of landscaping or do the odd kind of pond here and there, but they they never replace what's built up over. Uh, well, in terms of like the woodland there, um, and, and the uh, uh, and the uh, the pasture land, they never replace what's taken centuries to develop, um, and it's, it's usually just um, they get in. Usually, you, in all the cases I've been involved in, they usually tend to get in landscape architect and some environmental contractors and do um, a bit of cosmetic um, improvements, but but they, they never never they never uh, uh, you never regain what's been lost. Okay, thanks very much.